to study the pH of soils collected from two different sites and study the kind of plants found in them. Materials required soil samples, garden side soil and the roadside soil, test tube, test tube stand, funnel, spatula, universal indicator, pH paper, dropper, filter paper, We will place the funnel inside the test tube and then we will place the filter paper in both the test tubes. We will fold the filter paper and then we will place it in both the test tubes. After placing the filter paper, we will transfer the soil samples in both the funnels. This is the garden soil. We will place the garden soil in the first funnel and then the roadside soil in the second funnel. Now we'll add water to it so that the water percolates down through the soil. We'll collect the water in the test tube. When the water dips down through the funnel, it is going to be collected in the test tube which will be used for testing of the pH. Let the water drip down slowly. When the water passes through it, it is collected in the test tube. Now we are going to take the pH paper. We will use the universal indicator also. We will take a strip of the pH paper and we'll dip it inside the first funnel we'll let it dry for some time and then we will check the pH compare it with the pH chart similarly we are going to check the pH of the other test tube also we'll check the pH dip the pH paper and then let it dry for some time and we'll check by comparing with the pH chart. The garden side soil pH we will compare with the pH chart and similarly the road side soil pH will compare with the pH chart. Another method of checking the pH is by using the universal indicator. For this method, we will take the universal indicator in a dropper and we will put 2 to 3 drops of it in both the test tubes. This is the first test tube which contains the garden side soil and we will place the pH uh, indicator, universal indicator in the second test tube also. We will leave it for some time and then we will observe the color change and we will note down our observation.
the ph can be checked in the test tube containing the garden side soil and the road side soil soil ph aim collect the soil from at least two different sites and study them for ph materials required soil samples from two different sites road side and garden soil test tube test tube stand ph paper and universal indicator distilled water theory soil is the uppermost layer of the earth containing humus that is the organic matter soil is a mixture of organic matter minerals gases liquids and organisms that together support life the ph of soils is determined by minerals in the soil's parent material procedure take soil sample in a test tube add water to it and leave it for some time with the help of ph paper check the ph of the supernatant universal indicator can also be used to measure the ph with the help of dropper add two drops of universal indicator to the supernatant observe the color change and compare the color with ph chart result the soil sample from road side is slightly alkaline with ph 8 The soil sample from the garden site is acidic with pH 6 to 7. Precautions shake the soil sample well. Add only few drops of universal indicator with the help of the dropper. Viva questions what is the pH of soil sample from road side? What is the pH of garden site soil? what determines the ph of the soil